When the precogs declare a victim and a killer, their name is embedded in the grain of wood. Since each piece is unique, the shape and grain is unique. The shape and grain is impossible to forge. I'm sure you all understand the legalistic drawback to pre-crime methodology. Here we go again. Look, I'm not with the ACLU on this, Jeff. But let's not kid ourselves. We are arresting individuals who have broken no law. But they will. The commission of the crime itself is absolute metaphysics. The pre see the future, and they're never wrong. But it's not the future if you stop. Isn't that a fundamental paradox? Yes, it is. You're talking about predetermination, which happens all the time. Why'd you catch that? Because it was gonna fall. You're certain? Yeah, but it didn't fall. You caught it. The fact that you prevented it from happening doesn't change the fact that it was going to happen. You ever get any false positives? Someone intends to kill his boss or his wife, but they never go through with it. How do the precogs tell the difference? Precogs don't see what you intend to do. Only what you will do. Then why can't they see rapes? Or assaults or suicides? Because of the nature of murder. There's nothing more destructive to the metaphysical fabric that binds us in the untimely murder of one human being by another. Huh. Somehow I don't think that was Walt Whitman. Zara Cinnamon. She developed precogs, designed the system, and pioneered the interface. Speaking of interfacing, I'd love to say hello.